So the Moon Chase Festival has been one of the most fun events for me personally in a long time. Just re-exploring the terrain of Tavat, collecting those Moon Chase charms and the chest, that was fantastic content. And it was honestly a really unique storyline involving Gooba. If you haven't completed the story yet, I would suggest you go back and play it because it's great. And it has a sort of um, interesting spoiler in it. But when watching this video, at the end of the video, I noticed two very unique, interesting looking characters that I have no information about whatsoever. And I don't really see many other people talking about them either. And these two characters I'm going to show you have such nice designs and they are portrayed in the video so prominently that I think it would honestly be crazy if they were not playable characters in the future. I think Mahoyo has very sneakily teased two upcoming characters. I don't know when these characters might be released because they seem to both be from Liyue or related to Liyue and it might be crazy to release more Liyue characters right now after when we're you know still in Inazuma. But let's look at them. The first character shows up in the story teaser Flavors of the World around 2 minutes and 49 seconds in. You can see her right in the middle of the screen, striking this pose. And her design personally looks incredible. You can tell straight away she's an Adeptus. But other than that, we have no information about this character at all. The only thing we can deduce right now is that she is a polearm character, because you can see that behind her, she's holding a polearm. But just from her model alone, that drawing of her, I, I love that model. And what Genshin Impact always usually does, characters usually dress in the colours of their respective element. So it looks like whatever this character is, most likely is going to be a cryo character. I can't see them using a vision, but um, yeah, considering the light blue colours, most likely a cryo character. So when I saw this character, I was like, what? What? Why is nobody else talking about this character? She looks awesome. So I went everywhere looking for as much information as I could. Hardly anybody's talking about her. But I did find some interesting information. And if this is true, it's like such a sneaky hint from Mahoyo. So at the end of the Gooba event, we meet up with Madame Ping and she talks about the cleansing bell. Here's what she says. You've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Apart from that, I don't have anything of value that you youngsters might want. But it was not originally mine either. That trinket, the cleansing bell, used to belong to a friend of mine. I, I was a vain beauty when I was young and I would pester him for that bell all the time. And there we go. As you can see in this picture, that bell is definitely the same bell that this character is wearing. The way that it starts at a dark colour at the top and then slowly fades into a light yellow at the bottom, as well as the white feathery sash at the top, as well as the circular ring at the top, it's, ex it's exactly the same cleansing bell. So this is either, this has got to be like Madame Ping's friend. Well, I mean, some people are saying, oh, maybe it's Madame Ping in the past. Well, maybe. Adeptuses have a very long lifespan. But you know what's kind of funny? If Adeptuses can change their form, right? Couldn't Madame Ping just change her form back to this youthful appearance? Or, I don't know, maybe she just doesn't want to look like that anymore? Uh, or maybe this is just a friend of Madame Ping's, right? I mean, maybe this is actually a male character because the line does says, and I would pester him. Now, like I said, with Adeptuses, they can change their form. So let's not be fooled by appearances. You might say, oh, that's definitely a woman or that could be a man. Well, it doesn't really matter because to an Adeptus, they don't have a gender. They can choose to look or be whatever they want. I don't know. It definitely could be Madame Ping. I just think it would be pretty strange if, you know, Madame Ping suddenly decided that she would transform into a youthful form of herself and then start traveling the world of us. Yeah, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? So moving on, the second character appears around 3 minutes 23 seconds into the video. You can see her in the background, but she still stands out quite a lot. And she has that distinct personality. I mean, you can tell who's going to be a playable character in this game, because they always stand out and are more visually dynamic and distinct than other NPCs. I mean, that's just obvious. So if you told me this character that's so well designed and cool looking is not going to be a playable character, I would definitely have my doubts. This one unfortunately is so far zoomed out, you could hardly make any details about them at all. Judging purely from the colour, I guess the purple signifies that they could be an Electro character. Yeah, but this time we have 
absolutely no details at all to go off with this one. At least with that previous character, we could sort of see that they were a polearm character and they had some relation to Madame Ping. With this one, it's nothing. She's just purple, she's wearing a dress. What more can you really say? You can't see a weapon, but what would I hope that she would use? I think perhaps a new sword character would be interesting to see. It seems like we've had way too many polearm characters lately, but maybe that's just my imagination. And anyway, we have to remember that just because she's sort of dressed up in purple doesn't mean she will be Electro. Not every character follows this rule. So what do you guys think about these two characters? Well, first of all, do you think they are actually going to be new playable characters? I would honestly bet my money on that, simply because of how well designed they both are. If not, why don't you think that? And another thing, what do you think they'll be? Do you think they'll be 5 stars or 4 stars? I sort of get the feeling that maybe the blue one, the cryo looking character, will be a 5 star, and maybe this electro looking character will be a 4 star, but that's just my guess. 